This is a brief demonstration of recording and sharing videos in Blackboard by using the Yuja video platform tool. When you are logged into Blackboard, you can create the Yuja tool in your course to access Yuja. So in this course where I am an instructor, I have edit mode turned on. I'll go to the plus button above my course menu, go to tool link, give this a name, I'll call it Yuja. In the type drop down box, this is the very important part. Scroll down and click on the Yuja tool. If you want to make this tool available to students as well so that they can record videos and share them with you, you can click on Available to Users and click Submit. Once the Yuja tool is in your menu, you just click on the Yuja tool to use a single sign-on to access Yuja. Now the very first screen you'll see is the My Media page. This may be blank when you first access it. You might see a folder called Default Collection, um, but please note that if you had been making videos in Nomia, they will be migrated over to your media library in Yuja very soon. So to get started with this, if you wanted to create a new folder for accessing or for organizing your videos that you're going to have, you can click the New Folder button, and I'll call this um, Design Videos, and I'll click Save. Okay, so if I wanted to add videos to the collection, I can, um, once there's videos in here, I can click and drag them into folders to organize them by topic or type or, or perhaps course courses that you teach, like, like so. So let's say that I want to add some a video to my collection, and let's say it's a YouTube video. The first thing I'll want to do is um, go to YouTube and grab the URL of the video I want. So I can do that by getting it out of the, the address bar or by going to the share button and getting the, the shareable link to the video. Either way will be fine. Then when you, you are in Yuja, go to the upload button. And this is the panel you'll use that you can um, upload hard video files that you may have on your computer, such as WMVs or MP4s, but also there is the option to import from YouTube. So you'll click on link and go to YouTube, paste in that link, give this video a descriptive title. So I'll call this layout. Layout Graphic Design Principles video. Now, the reason why I say make a very descriptive and um, logical name here is the title that you name this video is how you're going to see it in your library and also how students will see it. So you'll want to make sure that this is an intuitive name that accurately captures what this video is so that you understand what that video is when you're looking through your, your list of videos and students will know what this video is. Okay. Once you're done, click Start Upload, and that will add the video to your media collection. Once a video is in your collection, you can play it, you can share it, you can publish it to a channel. So one thing to note, as a part of your media library, there is another area called Shared. And when you access Yuja, you automatically get a channel for arranging a playlist for your course. And you can publish videos to a channel if, you, if desired, but there's other ways that you can share your videos with students, and I'll go over those in a little bit. Um, next I'll show you the option for adding quizzing to a video. So once you have a video in your collection, if you go to More, you get this list of extra tools, and one of those tools is quizzes. So if you go to quizzes and click create quiz, you can begin the process of adding a video quiz. So I'll call this um, graphic design layout quiz. Graphic design layout video quiz. Okay, and before I get started, you can look at settings and customize the settings that you want to use. Otherwise, if you're happy with the default settings, just click Save. To add questions to the video, you begin playback of the video and then use the Add Question menu to insert the question. So let's say that I want to insert a true-false question at the very end of this video. So I'm just going to click Start to play this. 
and I'm just going to drag my player to a point in the video where I want that question to show up. So let's say maybe here at five minutes. I'll go to the Add Question box here and choose the type of question I want. So let's say I want true or false and add the text of the question into the box. Alright, true or false, graphic design layout principles impact the readability of a document. And then I'll indicate what the right answer is, and then click save. So there is my question. I could add more questions throughout the playback of the video, but I just want to do the one question at the end. And I will click save to save my work here. And if I want to publish this quiz, I can click post. And then I will just click post here. Oops. Here. Okay. So now my quiz has been successfully saved. And before I add this to Blackboard, I will just show you how to create another type of video. So if I wanted to create my own type of video, like a screencast video with webcam or other video sources, I can go to the Create Recording button. And if this is the first time you've ever accessed this tool, you'll need to install the uh, capture tool for Yuja. So you just click download to install it. And if you have installed it, you just click start to begin a recording. All right, and if you're successful, the Yuja software capture tool will show up. And the very first thing you'll want to do is give this recording a name. I will call this demo recording Friday. All right, so I've given it a descriptive name and I can choose my presets. So I'm telling you to what I want to include in my recording. So if I had a webcam, I'd make sure I'd want to choose the correct video source and toggle this to on. I don't have a webcam connected right now, so I'm gonna leave that off. Here's the audio options. You'll wanna make sure you're connecting to the correct audio and you'll know if you're correcting, connected to the right audio. If you see the playback here, mic source, start lighting up from green to yellow to red. All right, so you wanna make sure you have mic source turned on and connected to the right microphone. If you're going to be including your screen, make sure that you have selected your screen source and have the set on. If you want to, you can also include annotation toolbar, which adds tools like what you'll see at the bottom of the page here to your recording so that you may annotate as you uh, present. So you'd be annotating right over the screen, whatever it is you're showing, you can doodle on top of. Okay, and if you like the settings that you've got here and you want to use them in the future, you can definitely go to profile and name this as a new profile and click save and then you will be able to pick that profile from the list of profiles going forward. So you don't have to go through these settings again. You would just go down to profile and select the settings that you want to use. Okay, when you're ready to start recording, click restart. You'll see this prompt. Once it counts down, it begins recording, so you can just bring up whatever it is that you want to record. And if you have the annotation tools on top, you can doodle and highlight and use all these other nice tools. You can change your the width of your, your pen and so on. And then you can just uh, erase your doodles as well. Okay. Once you are done recording, look to the bottom right corner of the screen. You'll see your tools for stopping the recording and finishing. So you'll click finish to stop the recording. And you just software capture will tell you your capture session has ended. You can click save and your recording will then upload to Yuja. If I were to go to Yuja now, I can see that here's this recording that is in the process of uh, completing. And please note that when you do these recordings, Yuja will automatically add closed captions in English to them. 
Um, the process of those captions getting rendered can take a while. It depends upon the length of your recording, but generally, like a five minute video or, or less, you should be able to see captions within 15 to 30 minutes. Okay, and so before I show you how to add these videos to Blackboard, I'll show you an example of closed captions that have been added to a video. So let me go to my example videos area, design videos, here, feedback. So these are some videos I created yesterday. So if I wanted to look and see the captions, first of all, I can go to more and go to accessibility to verify that there are closed captions. I can see that there are. And if I wanted to, I can download them as a transcript or is it in a, TD, like a text or PDF format. I can re regenerate captions if something happened that were made, they were wrong. Or I can exit out of here and I can go instead to the edit area of the video to actually see the captions and make corrections or make other changes to the video if I wanted to. Okay, so here is the edit screen for the video. You can see that the captions have populated here in the, the captions timeline. If I want to edit these captions, I go to the edit or the, the CC button and I can see these captions in a nice little uh, text, text box area where I can just make changes on the fly if I wanted to. And if I wanted to make a change, let's just say that this is what the student submitted to me. Let's say that I, this was something I was really passionate about, so I'm going to put an exclamation point at the end of that. Just pretend it's a file and see how there's an, these annotation tools at the bottom where I can use a, high, a highlighter. Okay, so I added a article here, a highlighter. Okay, so once I've made changes to the captions, I'm happy with how these turned out. I can click save and I can either replace the exist existing video or save as a new video. I'm just going to replace it. Okay, so that was recording the video, that was uploading the video, that was looking at captions. Now we are ready to look at how to share videos. So. What I can do now is I'm just going to exit out of Uja, go back to my course, and let's say that I want to insert a video into a unit of content. So if I go to my weekly lessons area in the course, go to week one, go to build content, and then choose the Uja Media Chooser. This will bring up a screen where I can look at videos or video quizzes. Now it's important to choose the right filter because if you have a video quiz, you'll want to make sure you click on quizzes so that you get your options for video quizzing. Okay, so let's just say that I want to share a video first. So let's say I want to share the demo recording I did earlier today. So I'll choose that and I will click the insert content button at the bottom and the video will be inserted right into the content like so. There's no other settings that I have to adjust. The video is now a part of the course content. If students were to come and click on this, they're just going to see the video on a player like so. Okay, if I wanted to add a quiz, same process, I will go to build content, go to UGIM Media Chooser, choose the quiz, Let's say this is the quiz I want. I'll click insert content and there's the quiz. And when students come along and click on this, the quiz will open in a, a quiz player that gives them some prompts at the top of the page. Play the video to take the quiz. The video will automatically pause for you to answer the questions. Okay. So see how the question is at the, the end. So I'm just going to go Tense. as close as I can here to the end. Thanks for joining us for the basics of layout and composition. Check out the rest of our design topics, including typography, color, and images. Okay, so here's the question. Graphic design layout principles impact the readability of a document. I'll choose true. I'll click save. And because I want to submit this to the Grade Center, I will click submit. 
and so the score will automatically get pushed to the Blackboard Courses Grade Center. All right, so that's the process that students will use. So that's the preferred way of integrating video content with your course. There are some other ways you can share videos. If you needed to share videos uh, with others outside of UJA or through an e email or if you needed to post a video on a, another website, there's, there's other tools for sharing and I'll just briefly go over those next. So here's this example video. If I go to share, I can share this video with a peer so if I wanted to share this with a coworker, just like in Google Docs, I can add their name and click share and they can share the, or access this video through UJA. But if I wanted to share this with others outside of the UJA platform, if I go to more and go to links in the panel that appears, this is where I can grab an embed code or a direct link to the video. And then I can share the link or the embed code outside of Blackboard, outside of UJA. Okay, and there's one other way that you can share um, more than one video, and that is through playlists. So if you had been populating your channel for your course, let's just say I want to put this, these videos into my channel. Let's just make sure they are there. I'll go to publish on this video, and then I will make sure I'm publishing this to my course. Let me find it. I probably scrolled past it. There it is. I'm going to click on the course to publish this video to that channel and click select. And then I'm also going to do that to this other video. I'm going to publish this, put this in my channel. So that I have something to share. Okay, so now that I've put these two videos into my channel, I can actually share my channel as a playlist through a link or an embed code. So if I want to do that, I can click on my playlist or my channel, and then in the more actions area, go to get link. This is the embed code for the playlist, and this is the embed code for or the, the direct link to the playlist. So let's say that I wanted to possibly share a whole playlist of videos and have this update whenever I publish new videos to the playlist. I can grab that embed code like so and let's say I wanted to add that playlist um, on a website or maybe I want to add the playlist here within a, a content area or an item for students to see. So on this um, student start here content area I can create a new item give it a name, click on the source code button, just paste in that for, um, iframe code, the embed code, and then click submit. And then what will happen is a playlist viewer will populate on the, the screen. So you'll see the two videos here that are upcoming media. And as I continue to new, create new recordings and publish them to this channel, this player will update and display in sequence all those new videos that I, I create. So that's the last option for sharing. So I've gone over the preferred way for integrating with content that is going through the build content area and going to UJ Media Chooser. And I've also showed you the alternative options for sharing videos either through direct links. You get the direct link to whenever you are looking at the um, more option of a video. Remember, it will go to more and then links. Then you can grab a direct link or an embed code for that specific video. Or you could share a whole playlist by going to a playlist that you've, you've been publishing to. Let me find it again. Here, I'll just go to this other one. Oops. Let me find the one I had been working with. I know what's here. Here it is. And again, go to more options or more actions, get link, and then you can get the link or the embed code to the playlist. Okay. So those are the fundamental ways to record and share video in UChat.